Now, in our previous video, we looked at calculating these day of the week averages. And so what we're going to look at this week uh, in this video is we're going to look at how to calculate uh, overall averages and overall calculations. Now, uh, when we were calculating our weekly averages, we talked about how to calculate the weekly, the overall weekly average, which was the average of the weekly totals. Um, and we also calculated an overall daily average and we calculated it from our week one, week two, and week three averages. Um, the other way to calculate a daily average uh, we can calculate it from all of the raw 21 values, uh, or we can calculate it from a total as we did with the weekly totals and then average them, divide by the total number of days. So I'm gonna repeat some of these calculations just so that we can see how all of the calculations are identical to each other. As noted in some previous uh, discussions, all of these are equivalent to each other. They should all produce the same outcome, um, but they are the easiest ones to make from the graphs. So just as a reminder, one way that we can calculate our overall average is from our averages from each week. Since each week has the same number of days, this will give us the same average as averaging across individual values from the entire week. So if we go back to our first day and we highlight everything up to the last day of the week, we got the same value. Another way is we can calculate a total. So if we calculate a total for all of the sales, sum, oops, sum of all of the individual days. And then from that, take the total and divide by the total number of days. And these are all ways that you can get this average. Um, one additional way that you can actually get this average is from your, uh, we'll do one more up here um, as an example, is from your weekly average. If you take your weekly average and you divide by three, in this case, there's three weeks, uh, or sorry, you divide by seven uh, because there's seven days in each week. And this weekly average represents the average for the sum of whole weeks. So if you take your weekly average and divide by seven, you also get the same value. So all of these methods are equivalent ways of calculating the overall average. And then again, as we saw in previous videos, once you find the overall average for one department, um, if your data is well organized, you can just copy it down. Um, now I'm going to delete all of these because we already have the average calculated in one particular method. The only thing that I am going to preserve is the totals um, since that is new. And uh, one other thing, if you copy the formula as it as it is and you just paste it, it will shift all of the things because they're all relative formulas. If you want to copy the cell values and not the relative thing, copy the formula as text from within the cell and then um, you can paste it. Um, the one downside, as you can see, is that sometimes that will reformat your fonts. And so you may need to... Um, you may need to re-estimate or recalculate, um, reformat your um, uh, reformat your font.
because it still did that to me. Not that it's that important. There we go. Uh, and then once you've calculated this from whatever you're calculating from the sales table, you can paste it into the cost table and it will update. Now, this is not the only way to calculate your overall average. Uh, the other way to calculate your overall average is from the daily averages we calculated previously. So in the last video, we calculated these overall averages. And we can calculate overall averages. We calculated these daily averages and we can calculate the overall averages from them. Since they all represent three days of the week, they're all equally weighted. And so we can calculate the daily average from these values as well. Or we can take the total if we add the total here, this should be corresponding to our overall weekly average because it's the we're at we're totaling averages. And so that will convert our daily values to a weekly value by adding them up. These values will be the same. And we can, of course, if we highlight these, we can drag them down in order to do all the remaining calculations. And if we copy these into um, the next table, then they will update with the cost values as well. Now, uh, that again, the overall averages are the best ones to make the graphs from. They make the graphs the simplest and easiest to understand. And that's generally speaking what we want. We don't often care so much about if we're looking at which departments are doing the best, what they're doing on a, an individual daily basis is less important than what they're doing sort of a big picture overall. So what we're gonna do is from this point in the next video, we're gonna talk about calculating profit. And then from there, we'll be able to calculate profit margin and make our graphs.